a total attack here between Boyce Herring and Carla Esparza. Similar experience, five and two versus five and three. Three years the older is Felice. Three inches of tall of Felice. Slight weight advantage and one inch reach to Felice Harry again. Our expert fight game here on HD Net. Striking, no doubt, all the way to Felice. Ground game to Esparza. Even speed, even strength, even endurance on paper. John Drisco, the XFC, giving us what should be another stellar matchup. Look out for the awesome left hook, the wicked front kicks to the face. Old Felice Herring, let's throw it up to Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening in the XFC Women's Division. In the blue corner, she's a wrestler. She stands in at five feet, one inch tall. She weighed in at 113.5 pounds. She brings a professional record of five wins and two defeats into the cage. Representing Team Oyama from Irvine, California. Please welcome Carla Esparza. And her opponent standing across the cage in the red corner. She's a kickboxer. She stands in at five feet four inches tall. She weighed in at 113 and three quarter pounds. She brings a professional record of five wins and three defeats. Tonight she represents Courage Martial Arts out of Chicago, Illinois. Please welcome Felice the Little Bulldog Harry. And tonight this battle will be brought to you by Powerhouse Gym International and the world famous Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa. Over 300 clubs worldwide and an XFC training affiliate. Check out Powerhouse Gym. Your referee in charge, Chris Adams. Our amendment rules have been over earlier. You're both professionals and I expect you to act accordingly. You have any questions? You have any questions? Hook them up and let's do this. Felice Herrig went to beauty school in Hanover Park, Illinois. Worked as an esthetician for five years. A lot of people pass her off as just a pretty face, hey, Felice right. Herrig. But this girl is all about hard work. Six weeks before a fight, she lives at the gym. Only right, goes home a week to cook a meal for the week. Let's see how she steps up here against a high quality wrestler in Carla Esparza. Esparza shoots in early for a single and to take down nicely done. Felice looks her way back to her feet and finds it. Can she break off? No. Still Esparza locks onto her. Felice throws her legs up now. To me that's very surprising. Going full weather for this new season. Gets shot on immediately. She didn't even really attempt a very hard sprawl when that position happened. She did a great job of getting back to her feet, but never got any separation. She's going to blow the hurt. She's going to get out of this quickly. One foot on hips here for Felice Herring. Esparza all over her early on. Inside the close guard now is Carla Esparza. Carla said yesterday, I've never seen Felice put on her back in a fight. I plan on putting her there and keeping her there. And it took her only the opening, what was it, 20 seconds to do it. Esparza is a gun. You see, she, you see Esparza's going forward. You see her knees are underneath the thighs of, of her. And she, she's jiving in. She's going to keep pushing her back to the cage. So she gets to stop in her position and she's going to try to pass. Once she gets into this space, this is where Felice is going to be a lot of trouble. She's got to get out of this now. If she waits too much longer, she'll be caught against the cage. And she's going to end up either half guard or fully packed. Close guard here for Felice Herrick. She came in tonight as the underdog, I should say, plus 200. Carla Esparza at minus 280. Still looking to get to her feet here. Posting up on the right arm is Felice Herring. Now she finds her way out to her feet. Can she launch a point take thing she need from here? Not while that left arm is locked up. Throws a knee to the lower left rib cage. Turns Esparza back against the cage. Got to watch the side of the head here. And those elbows, as I told you earlier, Carla, very proficient with the elbows on the inside. A little uppercut up there from Felice. She needs to break off here, though. Get a chance to work that right cross, the left hook, and that beautiful tip kick to the face she does so well. Nice lead in the midsection, doubles up her well. As far as a single leg, gets a takedown. Felice on her back once more. That's a typical style of a wrestler, constant grinding, constant pressure, never giving you a space, never allowing you to go anywhere where you can get any kind of breath. This entire round has been all about as far as staying on top of Harry, and Felice is in no place to go at this point. She only has 40 remaining in the first round of three. It's been Carla Esparza's round so far. Now Felice back to her feet. 
just finishing up with Carla. Again, I thought Frank there may have been an opportunity there for her to break off and work some distance, get those strikes happening. Well, her corner's telling her she's got to go take down to kind of win back the round, she's got to go take down. So she's in take down mode. She gets any kind of space. Oh, great scrolls out now nicely. Twice does Felice Herring. This is more like it from the little bulldog. Look at Carla, she's still digging. This is her fourth shot, fifth shot. She's still driving in, trying to get this takedown. She never stops coming forward. And because she didn't stop coming forward, there's no chance for Felice to hit her. Oh, beautiful takedown again from Esparza. Carla Esparza, so impressive. The wrestling pedigree, you can see it so far. And she's just punching between the eyes here. Oh, Felice Herring, inside control, off the mount, steps over. And Felice stops it. Esparza wastes no time getting straight back on top of her. One foot on the hips here from Felice Perry. Nice elbow from Esparza. A good position by Esparza. She's got her hips in nice and tight. Even though that, that heel, you see that Felice has got that heel right there stuck on her hip. She needs to get that hip. She needs to use it to get rid of it because it's causing her hip to come up in the air. She's losing power. Felice says she wants to prove that she's evolved to be a complete mixed martial artist and no longer just a kickboxer doing MMA. Spent most of her camp working on her wrestling with Pat Curran. Says her wrestling is on point here tonight. And so far it's Carla Esparza's wrestling that has been on point. A butterfly hook here from Felice Herrick is preventing the mount. And now inside half guard, Carla Esparza. Under a minute remaining in the first. What does Felice need to do from here, Frank? She's doing a pretty good job of it right now. She's really overwhelmed. She's a turn to her right side, get her right shoulder on the mat, and start driving her toes in there to get her hips up in the air. And almost turned down to go turtle. She's got to get herself off of her back. She's in a bad world of hurt right here. If she can get herself to her side, she has a shot at getting out of this mount. The mount position for Carla Esparza will go to work on the left eye that's already damaged here of Felice Herrick. Look at that massive welt. A hematoma on the forehead of Felice Herrick. It's going to keep getting worse too because of the position of how Carla hits it. She's always going to be hitting that exact same area. Oh, how about a tip here from Esparza? How about a tip from Esparza? It's short. You see how far down it is down her body? She needs to have that wrist closer up on towards her chest. She needs to get way out. Only a few seconds here to survive. And she will. First round down. Look at her. 